Hey guys, we're here with the E-Flight Erratics. I've done lots of YouTube shorts with this, but today we're gonna give you like a review on it, like a, I'm gonna do this, like a flight talk. So yeah, uh, this is a very fun airplane. I've learned a lot with it, and you can fly it pretty much anywhere, which is really nice, and it's a good size, and just like, it's beautiful. You can see it really well in the air. But yeah, we're gonna uh, throw it up in the air with a 850 MAH three cell pack. So yeah, without further ado, let's get it in the air. This plane looks really good in a hover, and it's very easy. I really like hair earring. It does it really beautifully. It has big control surfaces that gives you lots of control. And then it has power. So I think you can get this for about 200 bucks on Horizon Hobby right now. Uh, it's a really good buy. I won this at Jonal this year, which was really awesome. Got to meet some really nice people from Horizon Hobby, and there's a competition with these, which was really fun. So. It's a very light airplane, uh, so you can throw it around pretty well. And a nice thing about this it has a special type of foam, so if you break a piece off, uh, it just snaps right off. It doesn't really bend and get mangled like a lot of foams, and so it's very easy to repair. Uh, I broke the horizontal stabilizer off. Uh, it, it, it was just the elevator part, and um, after I bring it in, I'll show you. There's some tape on it. You just put glue and maybe some tape on it. And yeah, it works great now. It's very stable in the hover. So with this battery, I usually get about four and a half minutes of flight time. Uh, I've got a 600 MAH that I'll be flying uh, today as well, which is a little bit less flight time, but uh, still very uh, it, it performs well. Uh, this one has a bit more power and it's a bit heavier, but uh, you can notice it a little bit, but it flies well with both. Got just enough power. It's not too much, but uh, I don't know what this is. I think it's a 30C discharge rate, I'm pretty sure. It knife edge just spins pretty well. And then I'm gonna try a corkscrew, which is a little crazy looking, but 
it's pretty cool. And then do a flat spin. It's really cool. Super fun and pretty easy to fly. If you're if you want to get into like 3D and you don't know where to start, I would say this would be a really good airplane to get. It's cheap, it's very easy to fly, I would say. And yeah, you can repair it really easily if something happens. You can get this with uh, safe technology, which is a stabilizer. Uh, I have not programmed it on this plane yet. Um, But yeah, if you're, I won't say this should be your first airplane, but uh, maybe like your third or fourth if you're wanting to get into 3D, it's a really good plane. Well, that's about the battery, so. You can just catch it right out of the air. It'd be great for a, like a backyard flyer. Even if you don't have like a whole lot of room, you can just still hover it and harrier it around your yard. So it's really fun. Uh, yeah, I just can't say good enough, enough good about it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna put the 600 battery pack in here and see how it flies. Okay, so you can see right here, there's some tape on here. I put it on there after I broke this whole piece off. It just snapped really nicely instead of like crunching up and stuff. So yeah, a little tape. I put some glue on it also, uh, just for some extra strength. But yeah, it works just fine. And yeah, I've had uh, some friends like break a piece off, and it just snaps right off. It's super easy to glue it back on and get right back in the air. Okay, so here's the two batteries. I just flew the 850 mAh. Like I said, it's a 30C. Uh, which gives it enough power, but this one up here is a 50C discharge rate, which it gives it more power, but it's a 600 mAh, and so you get a bit less flight time. But yeah, we're gonna throw that one up in the air and see how it does. So you can tell that this is lighter uh, with this battery in it. It floats a bit more. <laughs> I still have lots to learn with this, but it is super fun. It knife edges pretty well. It's got those uh, pieces on the wings that uh, make it more of a flat surface on the side, which is nice. Goes inverted really well. As you can imagine, just with the flat wing. Yeah, you just put it into a Harrier and it, it I think that's it's pr probably its sweet spot. Just beautiful. Do a maneuver, come right into a Harrier.
do a fast pass. That's about 90% throttle. So when I got this, I didn't really know how to do a rolling harrier, and as you can see, I have not gotten it down perfect, but it's getting there, and I've learned most of that uh, with this airplane. So it's a very good uh, starter for 3D. Yeah. I just can't tell you how fun this is. It's like it's so casual that you're not stressed when you fly it. Uh, it's just easy and super fun. Okay, that's about it for this battery. So guys, overall this is a great flying airplane. I've learned a lot with it and I'm still learning new things. Uh, if you want one, check them out in the link description below. I'll put a link down there for uh, Horizon Hobby where you get this. They're about 200 to 220. So pretty cheap and yeah, it's just a great airplane. Uh, to push your limits and uh, really improve your flying skills. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more content. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. See you next time.